Hey, what's up? Coming straight from the underground. It's me, Spookala, here. And, folks, I am here today with another powerful, amazing episode of our Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. In the last episode, folks, we did a lot of stuff. You gotta go check it out. I'm just kidding. In the last episode, folks, we got two powerful new mods to the team. And it was a pretty good, it, it was a pretty good episode, if I do say so myself. <laughs> We got through Route 6 on our way to Beale Beach City, and now we are in Rosh Fall Panel. And before we get into it, folks, I just want to say thank you all so much for the support for this series, for the Outlast series, for any other new series that we might have coming out soon. Yeah. So anyway, let's uh let's do a team recap. So, starting off, we got my girl Izumi, the Mankey. Rocking, Anger Point is an ability with Brick Break, Focus Energy, Seismic Toss, and Fury Spikes. We've got Greed, the Baha Shun. Rocking Leer, Focus Energy, Stomp, and Beat Up. Holding the Experience Share to get some of them, get some of those powerful levels. We've got Ling Yao, the Kinetic Monk. Rocking Return, Quick Attack, Charge, and Thunder Shock. We've got Edward, the starter you guys chose. Rocking Metal Claw, Home Claw, Leech, Seed, and Vine Leap. We've got Fu, the second newest member of our team, the Gyarados, the adamant Gyarados, rocking that powerful 67 attack. Look at that attack, folks. It is beautiful. Rocking Splash, Tackle, and Bite, so that moveset is kind of booty, but them stats are kind of beautiful, so it's an average. She's average. <laughs> and then our newest member to the team, Envy, the Glygod. Rocking Sand Attack, Hard, Knock Off, and Quick Attack. I forgot to see if... Uh, Envy can look, can learn any moves. Let me kind of look at that real quick. I think, let me see what moves I got. I don't think I have a lot of good moves. Uh, I could learn Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace could be useful. Possibly could learn Silver Wind. I'll, I'll teach him Aerial Ace, because since TMs are infinite use, what the hell is the point not to? Get rid of that powerful sand attack. So, either way, let's continue on through Rushful Town. Hello, Spook. This is Senior Goldcorn. How are things? Remember the last time we battled? Let's rematch. Route 4. Okay, well, I'm never going back to that guy again. But yeah, in between episodes, folks. Oh, damn it. Hi, Glagar. Bye, Glagar. In between episodes, folks, what I did is I just went back to the Pokemon Center. I stocked up on potions, you bitch. I knew that was gonna happen. The second I saw it, I was like, son of a bitch, we're gonna get caught. Damn, level 18 Glygar, not bad, mate. Okay, so these guys shouldn't have anything super strong. I think I'm just gonna size and toss it. So that'll do like an even 20 HP, which at this level is pretty powerful. Knock ow, that hurts. That actually did a decent amount of damage, considering it's not very effective. Just go in. Mm, suplex. Beautiful. By the way, I'm not doing an actual suplex because this chair is not meant to go that far back. See? Far as back as go, folks. Sucks, but that's just how it is. I guess I should talk about the question of the day. Because I noticed some people aren't really answering the question of the day. I guess because I don't answer it myself. Um, I think I'm going to make today's question of the day. What's your favorite Pokemon game? My favorite Pokemon game? Mmm. That's a tough one. It has to be a tie between Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Now, Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, my reason for liking that is because they added my baby Mega Sableye in it. It's a remake of my favorite generation, Gen 3. And Pokemon Yellow was my very first Pokemon game, and it was so good when I was little. When I was a little tiny Babu. When I was little tiny Squeak. Wait, who wants to learn Scary Face? Bashan? Uh... You're the You're the Leer. You don't really need Leer. I mean Leer is just scary face, but instead for speed. I've been paying attention. How much damage have these guys been doing? A lot. The answer is a lot. <laughs> Thank god we have seismic toss. This is just like that's why I didn't get rid of seismic toss, because it's a good move if used properly. 
But as you guys can see, I stocked up on super potions. I stocked up on potions. But yeah, like, Pokemon Yellow was my favorite for a while because it was my first ever Pokemon game. Like, it's still my favorite game because of nostalgia. But Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, it is a good game. Like, it, it, it was... It, it's short, that's the only problem, but so was Gen 3. Gen 3 was kind of short, too. Like, I mean... We could have made it so much longer. They tried to with the Delta episodes, but it just it felt tacked on and not needed, I guess would be the thing. And the final Pokemon to Dunsparce. Bruh, you brought out the wrong Pokemon to fight me. You brought out the wrong Pokemon. Oh god, he yawned me. That means I have to make this count. Izumi, you have to make it count. Hit it with that one shot. Bruh! Nope. <laughs> Rip. Well, we're asleep. Why did the ancient power come from behind me? Okay, then. That's weird, but I am asleep. That is not good. Do I have any, uh... I have one Chesto Berry. Goodbye to your sleep. Fuck you. Just one middle finger raised straight at the Dunsparce. Oh god, if he gets the stat boost, I'm gonna be so terrified. It's a plus one everything. Not really. Because, I mean, it's a Dunsparce. Don't get me wrong, I love Dun I love Dunsparce. He's adorable, but it's Dunsparce. Hey, we got that money, money, we got that money, honey. Up, oh, got an encounter though. <gasps> me familia. I can't attack my familia. Actually, I don't think I can attack this thing at all with easily, so it kind of doesn't help. I can't- uh, I'm- I'm gonna run from this. I kinda wanted this! This is one of the mons I wanted. Let me see, I think I have repels in here somewhere. I'm gonna splash on some repel. Good old generous portion of Pokemon P. That'll get- that'll get them off of me. Uh, okay. Uh, do I have any po- I- I know I bought potions too. Just in case the little feels like this. And you know what? Since I'm being generous, I'm gonna throw my boy Envy up front. Yeah, we have a powerful, like, two to four boy to girl ratio here. I'm not, I, I don't know how to feel about that. Gibraltar? Ha! You ain't doing nothing. Then again, neither am I. Envy, you need dig. You need to get you dig. See what the knockoff. Let's see what knockoff does. Ender? Yo, you ain't doing nothing. I'm knocking that shit off. You smack your shit to the ground. I took it and threw it on the ground! Okay, yeah, but seriously, we need to... We need to do something here. I mean, I guess I could just hit it with an aerial. It's like, you can't... It can only hit me with quick attack. How much could that possibly... Yeah, it does nothing. Just, hit, hit, just spam aerial ice and knock off. What? A minion. That's a dark poison type now, I think. I, I think that's what it is, because I looked it up to see. It's a dark poison type. Uh, Izumi can come in and destroy that thing, I think. Wait, dark poison? At the same type as Drapion and Skunk Tank. Its only weakness is ground. Well, fuck. <laughs> Envy, you need that dig. Oh my god. Why does it do so much? Okay, does Bloodlust give, like, Fang moves a boost as well? Because if it does, that's kind of broken. That's kind of broken. Because l l Let's think about this, folks. Not only would it give it a boost in Fang-based moves, it would also give it a little bit of HP back. That's kind of broken. Like, I'm going out to Fu to get the Intimidate drop and hope it doesn't do as much. Let's see. Yeah, there has to be like a boot. It has to do a boost or something. Or maybe it's just it's because it's stab. I don't know. It would bite. Let's see what bite does to it. Bite does a lot. <laughs> and it flinches. How do you like being bit, bitch? I hit you with that tackle though. Nice and powerful tackle. To be fair though, a tackle from a Gyarados would hurt. I don't care what you say. Okay, and I say we need to switch. Um. I have no one to go out to, I'll be honest here. 
you're taking go out to greed, you would be the best. Greed or easy me would be the best bet. Because Edward can go in, but Edward can't really do anything to it. Ling Yao can't go into it. Envy's hurt. So. I'll just go into greed, I guess. But yeah, so. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I'm gonna go for that stomp. Stomp my dude's mid. I don't know what to do against this thing, folks. Like. We have a good team, but we need some some coverage. Like we have too many normal and flying. We have too many normal moves. We got too many fighting moves. We got too many dark moves. We need to get some water moves. We need to get some elementals in this. Hey, grief getting nothing but the finest of HP. Jesus Christ. Ah, you can say against easy me. This is gonna be a one shot. One shot! One key! I think that's Widowmaker's line. I think that's Widowmaker's line, and I'm stupid for thinking that, and I'm stupid for doing the wrong accent for it, but I can't do a good French accent. I need to learn my accents first. I really do. There we go. I need a sip of drink to get myself going. Okay, so let's let's heal up because we took a beating. There, we should be good now. As long as everyone's in the green, we should be good. Son of a bitch! I thought. All right, we used a. It's because we have envy of prime. I'm stupid. I'm like, I thought we used a thing, but it's because envy's up front. We need to switch. We need to have someone stronger up front. Uh, let's have. That's, no, I don't want to put Fu up front. Let's put Edward up front. That should work. If I had to guess, he's probably got a Barul, Flygar, or a Moldrill. <laughs> I mean, really, there's not many options for people in this cave. He's gonna hit with a Vine, let's see what it does. I mean, what could it possibly do with a knockoff? That's a good bit of damage, actually. Yeah, I gotta say, this Pokemon is not what I thought it would be. Like, I thought it would be a bulky Pokemon because of the steel typing, but it is not. It was at the beginning, but now it's just. Eh, not very bulky. In fact, it gets its ass kicked by a lot of Pokemon. I don't know why. Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna go into my boy Fu, my girl Fu here, and Fu's going to be doing nothing but the finest of work. So we're doing pretty good on time, folks, actually. Um, I, I hope to at least get through this cave by the end of the episode. I, I'm, I'm feeling weird, folks. I think my slide out already. No, it's starting to wear off already. Which is really weird, considering I only took it like 30 minutes ago. Like, I don't know, it's like a tingly feeling. I think it's just, you know what it could be? It could be that I have the energy and I'm trying to, like, I'm not using it all super quick, so my brain's just like, God damn it, you're wasting this. And it wants me to move. It wants me to go like, and just like run around and shit. Yeah, this is not gonna help. These bites are not helping. Fury Powder. What the hell? Huh. I, I, I guess that makes sense. That makes sense, I guess, because uh, Glygar is a bug, technically. Like, it's a flying scorpion, which is a very terrifying thought process. <laughs> a, a flying scorpion sounds as terrifying as flying spiders, and I think those exist. I know when, the little ba when they're little babies, they can make like a silk parachute and fly away, but... I don't know if there's an actual, like, it uses, it makes webs in between its legs to fly in a spider. That'd be just horrifying. Like, that would just generally be horrifying. 21. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Izumi and hit this thing with the most powerful of brick breaks. This thing's about to go down. Guys, I looked up everyone's evolution. Everyone's in a vault total. It's not fair. 
Like, the closest one to evolve is Bashan at 25. And then his next evolution's at, like, 44. And I'm just sitting here like, who the fuck's gonna keep this thing till 44? Why? And then I'm like, oh yeah, because I'm doing a Nuzlocke and I don't really have a lot of options. Yeah, he's getting them exper that experience, though. Do you rule? He's about to catch another Brick Break. Right across the face. Not even a Brick Break anymore, it's a Brick Slap. There. Get out of my way, please. I've got things to do and places to be in. Oh, there's the exit. That's nice. The exit's not that far off. Oh, seven. This is a new route, folks. We need to heal. Two super potions should be good. We need to heal. A new route, new encounters. Okay, fine. What is this? A rest house? Yeah, could this please be a rest house? Or a place to get a potion? Or some. Yep, it's a rest house. We restore your entire Pokemon in full health. Sure. I mean, I just wasted two super potions, but oh well. No, thank you. Hey, at least they let us use- they, they give us the option to use Super Repels again. We got a great ball. Yo, this water is looking nice, though. I can, I can go for a dip in this water. So, um... Important question. Where... Ooh, a Firestone. That could be useful. Oh, there's our encounter. It's a... Go on. Go on. I could use that. If I need something to hit it with. Um, I guess technically food would be the best thing to hit it with. Cause he can't hit me with bulldo he can't spam bulldoze on me. But I can hit him. Not the best mod, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. I'll take it. And at least didn't have arena trap, so I'm not completely screwed. Oops. Drop my accuracy, hello. You can catch his bite, please. Yo, that's good, you're. That way if I one-shot you, it won't be a one-shot. <laughs> okay then, foods, okay. Calm down, girl. There, there. Yo, when am I gonna name this thing? Who acts like a grows are? I mean, I have an idea in mind, but it's not really... Well, I guess they're technically unisex. The Serpent Pokemon. Its snake-like body is almost always partially underground. The tunnel they dig can serve as pitfalls for the unwary. I mean, I'm trying to think. Underground, digging... The only character I can think of that dug anywhere in Full Metal Alchemist. Because, folks, remember, we are doing a Full Metal Alchemist naming challenge, so if we can name everyone from Full Metal Alchemist, we get some kind of bonus of some kind for the next Nuzlocke, I guess. Uh, but the only character I can think of is Sloth, who was another homunculus who dug all the way from, from Central all the way to the Northern Wall, which is like a mile. Oh god, she got sent to the graveyard. She's in the graveyard with the dead Pokemon. She's probably terrified. So my question is, what else can- oh look, there's grass right there. Are you not a trainer? No, you're a trainer. Oh, okay, I have to talk to you about it. That's weird. Turlar- ooh. That's a cool Pokemon. I forgot that that's it's a ball form. Oh crap, does this thing have Arena Trap? Oh, thank god, that's not Arena Trap. I forgot that's the fucker that took out, uh, was it Winry? Was it Winry that it took out? Yeah, it was Winry. Hashtag pay remember folks, hashtag pray for Winry. Cause guess what? That magnitude don't matter! Hey. And with that bite. Slash, uh oh. It does nothing! Yo, Gyarados is nice and OP, I love it. You see? That's what I love, when a Pokemon is OP as shit. <laughs> Mega King is gone? Yeah, that shit was broken, but I don't care. It was cool. Yo, has anyone heard about the Mega Kangaskhan nerf? Like, it's not bad. That's actually a good thing, because when your own 
creators, when the game creators came out and said, okay, Mega King's Con is OP, so we're gonna nerf it a little bit, that that's a sign. Uh, Edward wants to learn Mega Dream? Like, it, it would be nice to have, but we, I'm good with the moves that we have right now. Damn, though. That was nothing. Okay, real talk, though. We need to take this off of you and give it to Envy because you are already high level. I like this experience share, though. It's really helping out. Like, it's not, it's not OP like the X and Y experience share, but it's decent. And that's what makes it good. Uh, crap. Oh, hey, we could have uh, encountered this coconut crab with the bubble. Let's return, because I do not want to fight it. Because it's like, I think it's grass brown or something like that. God damn it. Another coconut crab. Piss off. Just punt the little thing into the ocean. <laughs> I mean, it's a coconut. You can, you can punt it. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy. You want to battle? I'm only doing these battles, folks, because I know Beal Beach is, like, right ahead of us, I think. Because I think there's only this route, and then it's straight to Beal Beach, so... Uh... Izumi? You wanna come out and deal with this? I mean, I, I mean, a Brick Break will just one-shot it, I guess. Unless it hits something like the Mother of All Stomps. Beat up. One. Two. So he's only got one other Pokemon. Alright. Him with that brick break. Bop! Good night. Good night, good night, goodbye. Level 21. Screech. No. Why would you need. Mm, why would you need Screech? No, screw that. You don't need Screech. You're a. I mean, I understand you're a monkey and you have to Screech, but you don't need to Screech. You see, that's bullshit, because they don't evolve to 25, and people have hacked Pokemon. Fucking triggers. Go to Versa Life. Just go to Versa Life, be triggered. But yo, like, we, we need to get him. Because he looks, it looks stupid, but I can already tell it's a powerful Pokemon. Like, not the middle form. The middle form and the first form look okay, but the final evolution looks kind of stupid. Uh, I'm gonna heal you real quick. Cause I kinda wanna see what's in this grass over here. But there's also an item right here. Hey, Max Repel, nice and useless. Well, not useless, it probably is gonna be useful to get through this, but... <gasps> I could've had a Corsola? Oh, screw all of you. I want a Corsola. Screw Go- Screw Grozard, I would've loved a Corsola. Corsola is power. What is that? A snail. That looks cute too. I would have wanted that. Fuck. I have to get a Pokemon I already have encountered. We need a. Well, no, we don't need a water type. I'm like, we don't have a water type, and just Gyarados is sitting next to me, like, fucking rude. Just walks away. Well, just floats away, I should say, because Gyarados doesn't fucking walk. It doesn't slow there, it floats, apparently. Yeah, I think we found Edward's training ground, though. Because there's nothing but water types here. <laughs> There is nothing but water types. Oh goody, it's the fuck boy. Hey, is that who I think it is? Wait. Yeah, it's Spook. So, so you've survived the trip here, huh? What's that you got there? Is that speech translator thingy right? Yeah, Bambo called me to tell me about it and then he sent me one. Now we both can understand Pokemon, neat, huh? Anyway, I blazed straight through Rockfall with a little boring town, and and I've been uh, traveling ever since. I'm gonna beat the gym leader before you do, Spook, but first, I'll beat you! Don't think I'll go easy just because of Comic Cave. Yeah, bitch, you left me there to die. Fuck you. You're a fuckboy, Dio. You always will be. The Skeleton Warriors will come for that booty. A dear rule. Really, bruh? Really, bruh? About to catch the finest of brick breaks. The absolute finest of brick breaks. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
hunt, you're gonna rock pile you're gonna polish your rock, just like a fuckboy. I'm just kidding. Like, I don't know why I'm saying fuckboy so much. I, I, I guess just cause it's hollow, it's October, for those of you who are wondering when I'm recording this, and October is the magical time of the Skeleton Wars on Tumblr, which is when the fuckboys almost fear the rise of the Skeleton Wars. Actually, though, that did a lot of damage when I was really good. And this is um, I'm gonna heal just to be safe, because I do not need to lose easy. I mean, she is a powerhouse right now. And he's gonna switch into Par Auto? What the fuck is that thing? What the hell is that thing? Para. Para Audio? Para Audio. Huh. It looks weird. It is a psychic type. Or it has psychic type moves. Shit. That is a time to switch. Time, time to switch. Reed, come on out. You can't. You don't get hurt by these, uh, these psychic moves. You sit on your ass and relax. You'll be fine. Reed's just like, whatever, dude. But wait, if it's... Hmm, maybe it's psychic normal? Let's see. Beat up. One. Two, let's just do a... Okay, then. <laughs> I was about to say, this should do enough damage with time six, but nope. Reed does not care. Moxie boosted it. He just Moxie boosted himself. He's like, fuck you, I'm out. You rule? Yo, you about to catch this fine and powerful stomp. He's about to stomp the dusty rule. Goodbye. Good night. And the Moxie. That's plus two. Yo, it's over. It's, you're, you're done. Just get off my field. Go back to your fuckboy, baby. Chemical? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this thing? It's cute. I want it. Kill it. It's a chimera. And it's got ember. Yo, catch this plus two, though. Mmm. again. Yo, stop with the burn. Stop trying to burn me, bruh. Stop. Yo, that plus three, though. The plus three! It's over! I don't care what you send out. It's gone! Electux? Oh, we still have it. That's level 24. Fuck, we might be under level again. <laughs> well, no, that's his ace. That might just be strong. Who do I have to go out against this thing? I mean, I guess technically I have, uh... I guess I technically do have Edward on the back wing if I need it. Get him with that plus three beat up though. Get him with the plus three beat up. One. Two. Come on, keep it going. Three. Four. Five. And a six. <laughs> yes. Greed cannot be stopped. He's at plus four. Keep it up. Keep feeding me your Pokemon. They're nothing but delicious. Hey, Envy's level 16. And you are not learning Fury Cutter, young man. Yeah, I picked the wrong start. Bitch, you did not pick the wrong starter. You picked the wrong everything. <gasps> what? Yo, the wiki lied to me. The wiki fucking lied to me. Stat thing said 25. Yo, I will take this. I, I'm happy for Greed. He has become even more awesome. He has become the next form. The ba shaft. Wants to learn seismic toss. Meh. Why not? I mean, it's better than scarier face. It's weird that the screen froze. Meh. I, I don't care what happens. My Pokemon are the strongest. They were just weak from all the battling that we've been we've done before we fought. <laughs> anyway, did, did you get some experience from this battle? <laughs> I know. I'll challenge the gym right now, and I'll get ahead of you, Spook. Just you see. Yep. Just like a fuck boy. Wait. So am I going the wrong way? Am I going the wrong way? I wonder. No, according to this, you just have to keep going up. Hmm. I know one thing, we need a heal though. That, that, that battle took a lot out of us. I'm going to see if the thing's up ahead. No, that's not the right button. That
That's the right button. Hey, Netball. Cool. We run into a new Pokemon that's a similar encounter. I wanted to get to Beal Beach by the end of this episode, folks, but we're already over time, so... We might have to save it for next episode. Well, let's see. We'll go up... I, I, I just wanted to see what's up here. I was scared I was gonna be like, oh shit, double battle. <laughs> An Ace Trainer double battle. That's actually terrifying to think about. Uh-huh. You're adorable, but you have to go. Ether. I feel like it's right up ahead, too. There's a boat. Boats usually mean... There it is! We made it, folks. Grozard, please fuck off. I, I, I don't want... I don't care. I don't care that you're here. Please just fuck off. Kind of. Really? <sighs> fuck you. You mean with that bulldoze? That does nothing! It does nothing. Fine whip, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, farewell. I didn't mean to say fuck off. And we made it to Beale Beach. Now where's that damn center? Where's the damn Pokemon center so I can end this off? Yo, that would be an interesting lock to not be able to save or end it off till, uh, what you call it? Pokemon Center? Hold up, folks. Sorry, I know we're going- we're over time already because this item is calling me. It's useless. Yep, that sounds about right. Alright, so we are gonna be ending it off here. I hope you all did enjoy this episode. It was a long episode, but it was a fun one. We did a lot. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you haven't already, please go and swipe that like button. It shows your support so much for the channel and it shows you are supporting the series, you want to see more. And if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so you can be a powerful member of Spook City and join us for our powerful uploads. Other than that, I hope you all did enjoy. I will see you all in the next amazing episode. And remember folks, to always stay spooky. Bye guys!